Oh yeah, today in my Suffolk dialect series I'm going to be talking about the word that. And it's a word which we very rarely say properly here in Suffolk. And as usual, we've shortened it again. We, this, all, all of these words have been in Suffolk usage for hundreds of years and it, it's still continuing to this day. Not so much, the Suffolk language is dying out a little bit sadly, but the words that were used for that is still carrying on strong. And we tend to say it either as at or as. And as in, for example, we would say, oh, you don't want to do that. Or she didn't do that, did she? So it's completely missed off the TH, we do an at. And the same thing goes for if you put and that in front of another sentence, we'll take that th off yet again, and we'll say, "That's what I was saying." If if you're using it in that way, that's what I said. That's what I saw. And depending on the usage of the word, it will then depend on whether you're using an at or an ass instead of that. So any time that you hear us with our lackadaisical, some say slovenly way of speaking, it's not slovenly, we're just being very relaxed about our speech here in Suffolk. But if you hear somebody saying, that's what I saw, I'm not lying, that's what I saw, as, then you know it should be a, that's what I saw, that's what I'm saying. And the same goes for I don't know, for example, like I said, that's what I said, that's what I said, that's what I said. <laughs> so in true Suffolk shortening form, the word that that gets used an awful lot is a whole lot easier to say because we're just getting rid of certain letters and carrying on regardless. We know what we're talking about and thanks to these videos, maybe some of you We'll also know what we're talking about too. Anyway, I'll wrap up here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. And I'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye.